Well, for the past two years, KSFR News has taken a full hour during the noontime to count the number of drivers using handheld cell phones while driving here in Santa Fe, where that practice is against the law. We chose the busy intersection of St. Francis and Cerrillos for the experiment to count the numbers. Last October, Dan Garrity and Aaron Brooks set themselves up, and we talked by phone during this program. Here's how some of that report went. Well, we're counting handheld cell phone drivers on St. Francis Drive northbound. We've got Dan Garrity and Aaron Brooks at that intersection. Dan, what can you report now? Bill, we started doing this informal tabulation, if you will. Uh, We're looking at traffic on the northbound lanes of St. Francis just before the intersection at Cerrillos. And we started this at 1130. Uh, We have so far clocked 60 people driving by with handheld cell phones. Nine people appear to be using a Bluetooth device. Um, And so I would say it it looks like we're going to see a rate of about uh, approximately 60 an hour. Uh, As I mentioned earlier, there is no statewide bill in New Mexico banning handheld cell phone use. Uh, New York was the first state to do so. They did that back in December of 2001, and last year they issued 312,000 tickets to drivers violating the law. Just recently, Whoa. The, that's somebody saying hello. <laughs> Just recently, the Baltimore City Council in September approved a ban against city workers taking on cell phone calls while driving. And in Canada, they've talked about making it illegal to, in our neighbor to the north. A question came up at an annual convention of one of Canada's political parties, but that was quickly shot down. Now, Dan, you've been counting, uh, you and Aaron have been counting cell phone users while driving going in one direction only. There are actually two ways on St. Francis. You're looking at northbound traffic. You're not counting Sirius Road, are you? No, no, this is only the three lanes of northbound traffic. So if, if we're calculating 60 people per hour in this one direction, you can multiply that by four for and all I, of the traffic going through this intersection. And I did. That would be 240 in an hour. And, Bill, I think you had some statistics. Uh, I don't know if you have them at hand about how many citations Santa Fe has been issuing. Well, it's averaged fewer than five a day since the uh, law was enacted in 2003. The number of citations was pretty high at first, and it dropped very low. I believe it was last year. So I'm estimating now that it's fewer than five a day on average since the law was enacted. Well, I know the proposal made by Councillor Wurzberger wanted to uh, put some more teeth behind our law, and that that hasn't met with a lot of favor. Uh, It would seem the law is not vigorously enforced. But again, with your calculation of 240 people talking on handheld cell phones at this one intersection, that's a lot of citation revenue that's being missed. Uh, it, it sounds fairly easy to do what the conviction rate might be. I don't know what's what's required to prove it in court. I understand Santa Fe police say it's fairly difficult to prove that the person was actually talking and not just holding uh, their ear with their hand some way. We've had some at-noon uh, listeners in their cars pull into the parking lot where we're stationed to say hello and tell us they're enjoying the report. <laughs> I should report none of them have been on their cell phone at the time. <laughs> well, that's, that's good for them. Dan, that'll wrap up our report. 60 in one hour on one direction, St. Francis North at the intersection of Cerrillos and St. Francis Drive. Dan, many thanks to you and to Aaron Brooks. That from last October on KSFR, and we'll probably do it again as we do every October and as we've done for the past couple of Octobers here on At Noon from KSFR News.